Lazy Lenny works at Denny's. <laughs> Lazy Lenny. I start Trump heckling him. Lazy Lenny works at Denny's. Robert. What, what's, what's bragging, cut? Robert. What's... <laughs> Misa ride the giant wiener. Misa could last 30 seconds on the giant peanuts. Misa. Misa take a ride on the wiener. Hey, what's going on? We're back in the lab again. Oh my god, I know you guys were patient. I'm so fucking sorry. Papa was in Vegas. Papa Frog was in Vegas losing money. What's going on? It's your boy, Michael Ridley, for another episode of Radio Ridley Radio. Today's date is October 3rd. I'm two years sober. It's 11.06 p.m. CST in the great town of Austin, Texas. Best city in the motherfucking world. I'm so glad to be back. Frog Nash, what's good? Oh, my fucking God. I'm back in the motherfucking lab again. About to fucking suck on some sack again. Eating ass from the motherfucking back again. I'm a motherfucking... Ag again. I'm <laughs> censoring myself because we're on YouTube. But if you don't want to, uh, uh, if you don't want to support YouTube, head over to fucking Patreon. I'm just shouting out the Patreons. I'm so sorry, guys, but I'm fucking back and I'm happy and I'm fucking feeling good as a motherfucker. I did Molly in Vegas for the first time. That was crazy. God, I have so much to fucking recap. Um, all right, let's talk about it. So I rode in a fucking RV caravan to Vegas. It took us two and a half days to get there. It was a motherfucking nightmare. Motherfucking, motherfucking, hit it again. Nightmare, nightmare, motherfucking nightmare, 40X. Four, it, was, it was a three-day nightmare in 40X, all the, coming to theaters this summer. The Road to Skankfest 2024. It was a fucking the greatest, worst time of my life. <laughs> Loved it. Skank Fest 2024. I want to give a big shout out to uh, Rebecca and Christine for putting together such an amazing festival like they do every single motherfucking year. Gracious to let a little frog hop on over to Vegas and rib it all over the stage. I fucking, I did a spot while I was there. It was good. I crushed that spot. Got big pops throughout it. Uh, saw some of you guys at Skank Fest. That was cool as fuck. Holy shit, dog. That shit made me happy for real. God. That shit made me feel happy for real. I see a, I see a young motherfucker. Man, I'm walking around Skank Fest. I see a young motherfucker. He lock eyes with me. He lock eyes with the frog. And I was just like, <laughs> what's good, baby? What's good? You already was bracking, cut. What's good? <laughs> you know? What's uh, ribbit? What's ribbit? What's 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 bragging, cut? Ribbit. What's, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Can I get a picture? Yeah, sure. Whoops. Yeah, yeah. Once, yo, chinky sweat, or uh, duck. This is this is another one I get. Another one I get. I know you, but I I, I don't know your name, but I know your Instagram handle, and I don't want to see that. <laughs> I don't want to see that. I know you. I know you. I don't know your name. But I know your Instagram handle. No, I don't want to say that. Say it. I'm literally giving you permission. Say it, you fucking spineless pussy. Say that shit. Put a hard K on it, too. Go K when you, when you say it. Go K. Sweat. Say it. But yeah, it was cool seeing you guys. It was awesome. It was awesome. Like, 3,000 people at the festival, four dudes knew the podcast. <laughs> There's four dudes who were like, dude. Those are good That's numbers. pretty fire, Those actually. For little old Papa Frog, Those for little old numbers. Frog Nash, dude, little old Sweat Liege, the Sweat Legionnaire. It was awesome. So, yeah, it was a minivan. It was us. Uh, it was a squad. Me and all the guys that work at Creek and uh, a lot of comics, La Mer, uh, panties in the mouth. Except for Nate Marshall. Nate Marshall did not. He decided to back out last minute because Nate Marshall is a wise old black man. <laughs> Nate Marshall has the wisdom of an elderly black man. He was like, man, I'm, I'm not trying to, bro, I ain't trying to ride in a van. He said nice try, did he? Nice try, did he? He's like, what? What? An incubator of farts on wheels? No thanks. I'm a fly like a fucking big brain. I'm a fly like I have wrinkles on my fucking brain. All of us smooth brain retards. Like, yeah, let's get in a car. Let's all let's all get in 
Let's all get in the car. Bro, an hour 30 into our drive. <laughs> We're an hour 30 outside of Austin. We meet up at 3. We didn't leave until... Uh, <laughs> we left Creek at like 3.30. It's now 5.30. We're an hour and a half into our drive. We didn't leave Creek until like 4.30. We all met up at Creek. We didn't fucking leave. We got out an hour and a half out of Austin. And everyone gets off the everyone gets off the RV. We all meet up. We pull over to catch up or whatever. Because we're like we're in a van and there's an RV. I'm in the van with a van crew and there's an RV crew. The van crew is now 30 minutes ahead. So I'm like, yo, I have I have Lemaire's location on my phone. We shared locations. And I was like, bro, they're like 20 minutes behind us. We should just pull over and wait for them. Bro, they pull over, everyone gets out of the RV. Vibes are fucking horrible. <laughs> Everyone's upset. Everyone's taught. Taught in the RV. Meanwhile, we've got uh, my homies driving. We got Pat George in the front seat navigating. We got uh, another guy who works at Creek. I'm not saying names. I know these guys' names. I'm not. I'm leaving their names out for the sake of the pod. And then um, it's a it's a it's a Chrysler Voyager. I have the back seat all to myself. It has stowaway seats, so we have one seat stowed in the floor. So we have like this L shape, and I'm just in the back. Dude, I'm I'm in the back, double AC vents, pillow, blankie, all that shit, bro. I'm just, I had the best, I had the best transport. Nice. The, it took us, it took us 18 hours to drive there. I slept for 14 of them. <laughs> I bought edibles, I brought edibles, I ate edibles, and then would just pass out, dude. Here's here's how I travel. I time travel <laughs> with edibles. Anytime I travel, flight, drive, anything, I. I brought my gaming laptop, and I brought a power inverter, and I don't know understand how voltage works. I need 24 <laughs> volts to charge my laptop. My laptop dies an hour into the trip, and then I immediately go in my cart hard bag. Edible. <laughs> <laughs> whoa, we're, whoa, we're in Flagstaff. <laughs> this is this is how I traveled. This is how I traveled. Edible. Ridley, you got a piss? Where are we? <laughs> My hair is crazy. I need water and I need to pee. We're in Flagstaff, Arizona. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, wow. Sick. How'd we? <laughs> All right. Nice. No way. Cool. We were at the Airbnb. The Airbnb is nice as fuck. It was crazy looking, dude. That edible piss after sleep. The edible is hot. piss, dude. It's, it's a hot. It's a piss. hot <laughs> It's a hot. It's summer. It's still making steam. That's how hot it is. It's evaporating the moment my peanuts pushes it out dude we pull up to this beautiful airbnb it was like a movie bro it was incredible this airbnb was gorgeous bro it was like a fucking movie bro yeah i'm airdropping you the shit now i don't know i don't know if it, if you got it i'm gonna send it no, to you let me airdrop it to you now it's preparing but like dude we pull up and there's a um god it was just such a fun trip dude we pull up to the Airbnb, beautiful house, beautiful, beautiful home. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that was the van that we were in, uh, Chrysler Voyager. I'm in the backseat of that the whole fucking way there, dude. I called that bitch. I was like, fuck this shit. But, yeah, that bitch was nice, bro. Bigger than it looks, huh? It, Dude, there, it's a five, uh, <clears throat> three or four bedroom. I can't call it. The living room had a giant, see that overhang? We were just smoking blunts out there all fucking night. You were hitting them too? Uh, no, no, no. They were smoking blunts all night. I was, you know, I was doing my thing. Had my edibles. Fucking, uh, dude. Shout out Mike Eaton. I'm going to have him on the pod. Good friend. Good friend uh, in Austin. He hasn't done that. I know, I know. I got to have Mike Eaton on. But, dude, Mike Eaton, dude, I love you, bro. But, like, he kept, uh, Mike was like, hey, we should stop and get food here. It was on the Food Channel. And, like, I guess they ordered, like, $80 worth of pizza, and everyone's stoked waiting for this pizza. They come back, bro, them pizzas is this big. <laughs> and there's 16 grown men, and a mutiny begins. Oh, Dude, we were in this house freaking out over these fucking pizzas, and Mike was so, like, hyped for them. And he, he was visibly bummed, and I felt bad. And everybody was pissed, and morale was low. And you know what, your, you know what Papa Frog did? I called up that Donimo's. Bro, I dropped $80 at Donimo's, got 
five pizzas, black box deep dish to the rescue. Just to fix the vibes. Bro, had to. Yeah. Had Vibes were horrible, and everyone was pissing me off that I was like, fuck it. Donimo's. <laughs> Cheesy bread's on the way, boy. Cheesy bread, wings, five deep dish medium pizzas, <sighs> two pepperoni jalapeno, one ham pineapple, and one cheese. Your boy knows how to order pizza now. I had to pull the out all I had to pull the ultimate Papa Frog move, dude. I'm like, no worries, boys. I've got pizza on the way. <laughs> hey, fellas. I know that was just no hey, hey, that was just an appetizer. More pizza on the way. It's crazy how much $80 will get you at Donimos versus $80 at this bullshit ass mom and pop pizza place that was advertised by the food network. I'm pretty sure when a restaurant is going out of business. Very mid restaurant. Brr, brr. Hello, Food Channel. We'd love to uh, please help us. <laughs> please just say our food's good so that unsuspecting foodies like my buddy Mike Eaton will go and tell all his friends that it's good, and then everyone will be mad at him for like 14 hours. <laughs> I feel bad for Mike because he got tricked, and I've been tricked many a time. Hey, you know, honest mistake, but Donimo's to the way we got the fucking gang and pizzas. And I noticed that. I am so house husbandly that I was the only person cleaning as we go. When you get an Airbnb, you got to clean as you go. You got to clean as you go because, bruh, I know there was a cleaning fee just from the sheer amount of farts that were had in that house, dude. You could wipe your finger on the wall and be like, Jesus, dude, there were eight dudes living in here, wasn't there? There was 48 dudes in here. We had a strict, we had a strict no jork policy the entire trip too. So everyone's balls are full, tummies are empty, just angry, primal, dude. We go on the road with people, you start realizing how primal motherfuckers get, dude. Taylor, you know you were in a metal band, you already did the shitty shit. You drove, you've driven eighteen hours for a two hundred dollars to be split amongst five people. You know how fucking crappy it can be. God, man. Comics are fucking, we're all fucking, dude. We are divas, bro. This is fucking seventeen divas. Just all, we're all at our necks. Like, we were friends at Creek. <laughs> like, when we were in Austin at Creek in the Cave meeting up, everybody had their backpacks on. Motherfuckers had blankies and shit. It's like a field trip. Yeah, everybody's like, dude, aren't you excited for Skank Fest? Two hours into the drive, and it's like, kill Mike Eaton. He ordered the shitty pizza. Or, you know, it's eight hours into the drive or whatever. We get to Flagstaff, Arizona. So we fixed it, you know, and then everybody started drinking, and then we all had fun, and... Me and LaMere had a little land party. We played some Overwatch in the <laughs> living room. It was sick as fuck. I was like, uh, everybody split the uh, Airbnb $30 or whatever. Everyone threw down $30 for the Airbnb for one night. And I was like, hey, man, I I'm going to send you $50 right now. Oh, no, no, no. Clutch move. I go, um, here's all the pizza. All I ask is that room. <laughs> I get a room. So not only have I slept in the back of the van the whole trip, dude, I was a fucking dude. I'm a fucking greedy. I'm a greedy bastard, dude. I'm the I'm the biggest asshole of the trip. Like low key, everyone was mad at Mike, but nobody knew that I was down low, like plotting the ultimate comfort. Yeah, <laughs> like, you're I, the Trump of traveling. I was, dude. I was like, I'm buying the pizza. <laughs> My only stipulation: a back room with a little bed. She's mine. People are splitting rooms and shit. Well, I mean, there was so much. There was so much space to sleep. You know, the, 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 the house was huge. Super comfy couch, fit like three people on the couch. There was a giant beanbag. Mike slept on the beanbag. Just, <laughs> Mike's just drunk as shit, sleeping on this giant beanbag. He's, I walk in, he's just farting in the beanbag. <laughs> it was awesome. It was awesome. I had such a good time. I love all those guys, dude. It was such a fun time. I just wish that, like, we were all getting paid headliner money to go where we were going. Because <laughs> everyone was kind of like... Mike's still out there. He's still out there. He's like, fuck it. I'm fucking, he's, he's in, he's in Reno. Shout out Mike Eaton. Guys, go check out Mike is Eaton at Instagram. He's a very Mike's funny. Mike's a road dog. He's a road dog. He's a killer. We did a roast so battle funny. together. Go to his YouTube channel. Mike is Eaton uh, on YouTube. There's a Michael Ridley versus Mike Eaton battle at Creek in the Cave. It was, uh, it was featured on the Roast Battle League podcast. One of the best battles of the week that week. We'll post it in the YouTube community. Yeah, check it out. Check it out. Check it out. Yeah, we'll share it to a YouTube community. A little synchronization amongst channels. So yeah, we're in Flagstaff. Then we go. Uh, Lemaire like linked us to a show. Lemaire sells it like we're doing a showcase. It's Flagstaff's only open mic, and I can only describe it as a micro brewery where you you swipe your card and then you tip somebody 
so that you can walk up to the fridge and take your drink out of the fridge. Fuck you, dude. I'm not tipping you, dude. I'm doing most of the work. I'm placing the order. I'm getting the order. I'm opening the order, and I'm handing it to myself. Like, fuck you. Transactions done. No tip. No tip. So, yeah, we go in there, and uh, the scene sucks ass. The local uh, Flagstaff, Arizona scene sucks ass, and I'm so mad. I'm so mad that we're here. It's 82 degrees inside of this fucking brewery. They have the heat on. It's 67 outside. So they have daytime heat indoors at night. Brother, y'all could have just... It, it was packed to the brim, too. Because people don't want to be cold with AC at night in the desert or something? Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. It was weird. It was hot, and like I was like, why, aren't, why isn't anyone laughing? It's 82 degrees here. <laughs> Laughter requires energy. <laughs> Nobody likes to laugh when it's hot. If it's cold, yeah, people like to laugh. They're like, ha, 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 I got energy. You know, it, it warms you up. Moving around, laughing, warms you up. 82 degrees in a fucking open mic in Flagstaff. I hated it, dude. I wanted to kill those people, dude. <laughs> I went uh, at one point during my set, like, I'm doing good. And then I do one joke that doesn't hit. <clears throat> I look at the crowd and I go, you guys are making me feel weird as fuck. And I don't like it. Big pop. I was like, y'all are fucking making me feel weird. <laughs> I got so mad at them. Because they could see I was pissed. But I was just doing my jokes. I'm like, you don't like this. You only gonna like this shit. They could tell, like, I could pick up on their vibe. Because I watched the whole show. I'm, I'm like, three quarters of the way in. I watched the whole show. I'm like, the guy fucked it up, too. He should have just had us all just kill in the beginning. Like, all the Austin comics go up in the beginning. And then all the local talent go up first. And I heard a guy out there. He's like, man, it's packed tonight. I heard a guy out there. We're all sitting on the front patio. I'm drinking uh, orange cream soda. <laughs> Jones, orange cream soda. Your boy is fucking, you know. On the wild side, you know, I'm, I don't really partake in the sugar, yeah. sugar like that. You know, I was eating a lot of candy and drinking a lot of soda. And um, I had my orange cream soda, Jones orange cream soda in my hand. And I just hear a guy pacing and he's like, dude, I hope I do well tonight. There's a lot of people in there. Like his whole fucking career fucking stands on it. And the guy just, every comic in Flags Day, they like did like the, I've only been doing comedy for eight months. And he's like, yo, 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 what's up, what's up, what's up? All right, now I'm going to fumble sentences for the next five minutes. It was like half written, I don't know. <laughs> the guy just bombs. Mm. Like the whole, the crowd loves him. Like all, everybody, he goes up, everyone cheers for him, and then he just bombs for five minutes. And I'm like, why did, oh, he's just a nice guy then. <laughs> But yeah, they, it would be like Austin comic and then Flagstaff comic. Austin comic, uh, Flagstaff comic. I'm like, bro, you should have just did a showcase style. Just boom, 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 killers. And then, you know, it's two, a treat. Two for every one. It's a treat, man. <clears throat> yeah. I think I had to follow one of them. That's why I was mad. I had to follow, like, I don't know. You do be getting mad when people put you in the hole. I do get mad when people put me in the <laughs> hole because now I got to fucking fix it. You get nasty when they put you I in do, the and hole. I do. And then, like, people put me, like, a good, like, let's, like, one time Cam... Somebody was on stage at Vulcan, and Cam was like, hey, bro, can you go up? Bro, Cam. Cam was like, bro, you go up, and then bring me up. Fix this. Yeah. Somebody bombed, and then Cam was like, bro, bring me up. I'm like, bro, <laughs> motherfuckers know I'm good at comedy, man. <laughs> Why are they playing with me, dog? Like, I'm the fixer, bro. I fix shit. I will fix this shit. They're not going to be like, Michael, can you go bomb before I go up? No. They go, Mike, can you fucking get them hype? And then, you know. Bro, I'm good at comedy. Fuck the bullshit, man. Quit playing with me, dog. But yeah, fuck Flagstaff. It's just gay as hell. It's just REI and fucking big old fat ass white girls. Just big ass fucking fine ass white girls out there. I don't understand. It's got to be the mountain air. <laughs> Something about that mountain air, dude. That air pressure, bro. That shit just changes the genetics out there, dude. Mind you, we're like two days into the trip. We're in Flagstaff. I'm like, sheesh, Louise. Them Jones was thick as hell, boy. I was like, God damn. It's my type. But I'm a married man. I didn't act on my impulses and shit. But damn. There's one girl, she had a she had a lower back tattoo. I was standing behind her. I looked down, a lower back tattoo. It's just in 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 uh in vicious, invictus, I don't know, but it was written in like gothic font. This bitch had gothic font. Ew. And it was this big. <laughs> A tramp stamp this big in gothic font. You know she's down for anything. I knew that bitch be doing ass to mouth, boy. <laughs> that's the fucking whoosh. That's the stamp of ass to mouth. Just a little <laughs> slutty tramp stamp that's like Invictus or some shit. I don't know. Angus. It, it was the Chrome Hearts font. 
<laughs> type it in. Type in Chrome fa- Chrome Farts. Chrome Farts. <laughs> farts and it's the Chrome Farts. I should make a clothing brand called Chrome Farts and just fucking a uh, parody brand. Yeah, Shorty had that. Shorty had that, but it was this big, bro. She's going to be a grandma one day with the slutty Chrome Hearts font. That said some word no one can read. Invictus. Insidious. I think she had Insidious or something. It was something. I'm a whore, basically. The <laughs> subtext is ass to mouth. But yeah, there's some baddies out there. They have REI, a lot of Tacomas, a lot of Forerunners, a lot of camping whites. It's a good town. <laughs> if you're a campy white, it's like everyone who was Portland is like tired of all the fentanyl addicts. They moved to Flagstaff. It was like the same type of white, like the rich Portland. Mm. That's where rich Portland, they got fed up with all the fentanyl and all the hairy armpit, blue haired women deciding the direction of the town. And they're like, all right, let's go somewhere that's super racist and try to fix it. <laughs> like Flagstaff's like super racist. But then all the liberals from, uh, you know, the PNW come down there and they're like, we're going to fix it. Build an REI, put a liberal fucking coffee shop. <laughs> we go to the bar next door after the show. The bartender's a fucking dickhead to me. Everybody's nice to everyone else. I get carded. And I go, hey, man, I'm not, I'm not drinking, but here you go. And he goes, everyone gets carded after 10 p.m. And then my buddy that drove the van, he goes, they didn't card me. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's yep, that's it. It's that fla- That's that low-key flagstaff racism. Am I a little baby? <laughs> I gotta be. I must be. I must. I'm. I do what? Brother, I got Bruce Willis's forehead. I got wrinkles. I watch this, watch. They didn't go anywhere. Look, they're still there. I know this because I stare in the mirror on mushrooms and go, You're aging. Look as time passes. The sand in your hourglass is trickling down and down. Look at the wrinkles in your forehead. But I still get carded. Because the guy just wanted to be a dick to me. So I was over it. I'm fuck flagstaff. Flagstaff, more like staff. Flagstaff, more like staff. You know what I'm trying to say. Brother, yeah, that's me. I got them Bruce Willis wrinkles on my forehead. I'm 31 years old, brother, and I'm not drinking. When am I going to look old? But, yeah, we continue on. Where else did we go after that? Did we go to New... Did we stop in New Mexico? Did we stop? I can't remember. I was on so many drugs. But yeah, we make it to Vegas. I gamble all my fucking money away. Fucking dude, I gambled like five hundred dollars. I'm like a Chinese, Chinese tourist. <laughs> I always wonder, am I Asian? And then you put me in a casino, <laughs> and and immediately slot machine, two hundred dollars out of the ATM, just cigarette, cigarette, pressing, 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 win, win, win. Oh, you gotta keep praying. You gotta keep praying. You up? Keep praying, and I'm all. And it's gone, and it's gone. Oh, well. My favorite game of the casino is the ATM because I press four buttons and then I win money. That's my favorite game at the ATM. It's, that's the only game I win at. It's like, doot, 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 doot. Oh, look, I win. Doot, 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 doot. Nice. $10 ATM withdrawal fee. I did it five times. Oh, fuck. fuck me and my ass. God, dude. And then I was playing video poker. Dude, I started with fifty dollars in this video poker thing. One eighty. It was a one eighty, brother. And then my boy pulls his camera out and starts recording me. And I go, "Hey, I, I'm not taking my eyes off the screen. I'm playing the video poker. I'm like, hey, put the camera away, buddy, bro. The moment you start recording, I'm do 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 do. One eighty turns into seventy five. Seventy five turns into thirty. Thirty turns into goose egg." I go like this. I go, I told you, put the camera away. And then I start doing like gambling addict crackhead shit. I start going, I go, so through the lens of camera, it's been scientifically proven that atoms change. (laughs) I literally say this to him. I go, it's scientifically proven that when something is observed by a camera, atoms stop. (laughs) And I know that sounds crazy. Google it. It's fucking true. It was on JRE. (laughs) Source, trust me, bro. You fucked up my juju, dude. It's the R3 Podcast. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, This podcast is brought to you by Dick Lasers. 
Comedy.com. Have you ever thought to yourself, I'm not funny. I wish there was a way I could pay to be funny. I want to be the funniest guy in the room. Well, you can. Head over to DickLasers.com and grab you a funny little laser pointer. It's a, it's a, fascinating, little, uh, it's a fascinating little device. It's a laser pointer that features the silhouettes of five different weenets, five different peanuts shapes. We got all types. I love it. I love it. I, I, I bring it with me everywhere I go. I go downtown Austin. I shine it on a stranger's back, and there's just a, a bat signal of a wiener on a guy's back. It's fucking hilarious. I love that. I love being able to just, you know, be uh, that that mischievous uh, inner feed your inner 13 year old <laughs> middle school self at dicklasers.com. <laughs> it's amazing. There's five types of wieners to choose from. You got your standard Johnson. You got your, uh, you know, you got Captain Hook. You've got POV, front facing. You're staring at my wiener. You've got uh, Skinny Boy Jones. You got uh, the Chode Meister. And I think that's Anna, that's the standard Johnson. Tell them how it works, too. You like Oh, it's incredible, it, dude. Yeah. Them. Oh, it's incredible. Yeah. You literally just uh, uh, imagine like a little flashlight laser pointer thing, and you, uh, at the flick of a switch, the wiener shines onto whatever surface you point it on, and then you've got a fancy little scroll wheel where you can switch out up to five wieners at any time. Five wieners at your disposal. And the fun part is, is um, when you shine it on somebody's crotch, they notice it, right? And the closer they get to you, the smaller the wiener gets. That's always my favorite because that's just how <laughs> light. True. Re- it's true. It's just you know, it's science. It's just how you know light refracts. You know, the closer it is. <laughs> And uh, yeah, nineteen ninety nine on sale, but use promo code SWEATY at checkout for an even better discount, for an even better deal. Little S W E A T Y. S W E A T Y at checkout. Guys, it's a perfect way to get a little gift, fun little gag gift, and a great way to support this podcast. Go over to DickLasers.com, use promo code SWEATY at checkout, and get you a little wiener light dick laser today. Thank you so much. Back to the show. Enjoy the rest of the episode. You're listening to the R3 Podcast. We take the Asian man's money as well. (laughs) It's not just white people's money. (laughs) Chinese man walks in. Chinese man walks in casino. Goes to ATM. Happily pays $10 withdrawal fee. Loses it all. Matter of seconds. Tribe very happy. We force him to work at the Chinese restaurant. (laughs) We force him to serve sushi. To pay his debts, his wife does not know, and she will never know, because he will not return home. He is in debt to the fuck you in the ass tribe. Jesus, man. Fuck Las Vegas. I had the best time. I love Las Vegas. Fuck Las Vegas. I had the best time. Everybody has a love-hate. Oh, love-hate. You you know what you do? This is how you do Vegas. We got there too early. We got there on a Wednesday. We left on a Tuesday. (sighs) It's a long time to be in Sin City. <laughs> it's a long time. It's 10 years in Vegas. Yeah. Vegas time. Vegas years. It's fucking 10 years in Vegas years. F- fucking six days in Vegas is 10 years. Dude, I aged six months while I was there. I came back. I looked in the mirror when I got home. I was like, I was green from all the cigarette smoke and the fluorescent lighting. And the floors in the casino, they're all wonky. Like, it's enough where you don't really notice it, but you, it's... Designed to disorient you. The whole thing is just overload. Op- uh, dopamine overload. I was going to say opium. Dopamine overload. The whole thing. It's just, and as somebody with ADHD, I found myself getting super fucking tired from all the lights and the sounds. You get sensory, when you have ADHD, you'll get sensory overload. And I was drink. shout out Ghost Energy. I had three <laughs> Ghost Energies in the hotel room. No fucking fridge. Bro, when did we stop putting fridges in hotel rooms? That's crazy. Why are we getting shittier as a society? The Oh, another thing about the hotel room, the fan didn't work. It's me and my boy were staying in this room. Big boy. Dude, it was a it was a how I, how do I describe? By day 3 by day 3 the uh the hotel room had become a pressure cooker of flatulence. It was so fucking <laughs> The default smell was so bad in there. And then my my big buddy that I'm staying with, he brings his buddy from Discord, and this guy smells like fucking cheese. And I fucking speak up immediately. I go, hey, buddy, you smell like fucking rotten cheese, brother. Let's go hop in the shower. He goes and takes a shower immediately. Cheese smell is gone. I'm like, told you, dude. The air quality in this bitch is important to me, cuz. 
And he's fine. He's a fan. He's a friend. We became buddies, you know. But I was apprehensive at first because I, I, it was sprung on to me <laughs> that a member would be added to the party. I'm in no control. I didn't pay for any of this shit. I slept the whole way here. I didn't pay for the room. I was invited by the guy that I stayed with. So it's up to him. It's all him. His rental. He did the Airbnb. He got the van. He got the fucking booking for the hotel. He did all that shit. So I'm not nowhere to. But I will speak up if he's on board with me because he immediately goes, yeah, man, you kind of smell a little cheesy. <laughs> go hop in the shower. And then he hops in, he comes out, and I'm like, yes, default fart cigarettes. Sniff him hard. Fart, Give him a hard it just, sniff. all right, cool. Now it just smells like fart and cigarettes in here. Sick. <laughs> I can deal with that. Dude, for fu- dude. And I don't smoke cigs. Oh, I'm just, dude, I don't smoke cigarettes. I used to. I quit. My vape dies like two days in. I start smoking fucking cigarettes while I'm out there. And I dude, smoke cigs in Vegas. I, like, yeah, you gotta say it's kind of like you it's know if thing. I'm not drinking, I'm not, you know, I smoke cigs in Vegas or whatever. And then, bro, by like the fifth or sixth cigarette, my fucking gums were like, <laughs> my fucking gums were inflamed, bro, and it makes my head hurt and like my, my teeth start hurting, my head starts hurting. I'm like. Bro, I'm, like, physically in pain. We're in the desert. I didn't bring any lotion. Bro, look at my thumbs, bro. My hands are all cracked up. Oh! Oh, when we were in Flagstaff, though, I did stop by the, uh, they had a Carhartt store, of course. They had an REI. There's a Carhartt next door. And then a, there was a Lululemon, of course. Me and LaMare go to Carhartt store. LaMare gets clean. He's like, bro, I need a, I need a sling bag. And I go, I've been, I've already been in there for 15 minutes. I'm like, Here. I find it the perfect sling bag. I watch him buy it. I'm like, damn, I wish I could just bring $50 on a fucking. It's a nice ass Carhartt sling bag. But I got Marvel, my dog, a dank ass Carhartt uh, collar. Boy, that bitch, nice as hell. Got a heavy buckle on it. When you unclick it, it goes ring. It makes like a ring sound when you unbuck- unbuckle it. I put it on today. It's nice. And then I got a Carhartt long sleeve. I spent $60 in that motherfucker. I got a, um, a chapstick. That is the size of a glue stick. It was awesome. I was like, dude, I lost my chapstick immediately. Like, I had a pina colada chapstick. I've had it for a long time. You've seen it. I have this little pina colada chapstick. I've just been fucking... Bruh. Bruh. This fucking chapstick is, like, this thick around, and I'm just going... That shit felt gay as hell every time I used it. Nine dollars. What do you guys want to do next? What are you guys trying to do next? <laughs> you want to go gambling or something? I lost it. Oh. I lost. I spent nine dollars on a glue stick chapstick. I lost it. See if you can find it. Type in Carhartt chapstick. See if they if that that'll pull it up. Because it was like at the front. You know when they when you you know when you're in a retail situation, they have little knickknacks on the counter. Got my ass. Got my dude. Because I was like, I lost my chapstick. That chapstick will last me, dude. That little chapstick I've had for like eight months. Heart, heart, chapstick. Uh, O'Keefe's. Type in, yeah, Duke Cannon. God, we got to reach out to them. Ooh, we, uh, dude, reach out to them. Send them the dick lasers ad. It's kind dude. of a flex to send a silly ad. Just be like, hey. Seven, oh, eight ninety nine. That's what I paid. Seven nineteen online price. It looks like a normal chapstick. My brother, it's fucking, it's, it's this big. It's this tall, and it's that thick around. And, dude, perfect. Do a uh, do a do a fake ad mock ad for it. We'll okay, send it yeah. to him. Okay. Here we'll pull it up. Hang on. Guys, do your lips ever feel like your butthole when you can't scratch it? Do your lips ever feel dry as the Sahara? Well, look no further. Uh, go on down to Duke Cannon. Go on down to go on down to Cannonbalm.com. Check out Duke Cannon Supply Co. Cannonball Tactical Lip Protectant. This is no bullshit. This is a big old, big motherfucking chapstick. Big old lip balm. Huge lip balm. Not no teeny weeny, insy teeny weeny, Chinese little wiener lip balm. I'm talking a big honking, chonking, <laughs> big old lip balm for your big old juicy lips, boy. My lips were dry. They were so dry, Kakarot. <laughs> And then I applied that Duke Cannon Cannon Balm. Boy, my lips were moisturized. And that and it had that twangy, that twangy, delicious beeswax flavor. Dancing on my lips 
like Mexican children at a quinceanera, boy. Oh, my good golly gosh, it's good. <laughs> Guys, go out to Duke Cannon Supply Co. and check out that cannon balm. Tactical lip protectant. SPF something or other. But damn, that shit was good. Not an actual ad. Not an actual ad, but damn, I wish I was sponsored by them. I would keep them shits on deck. We're going to send that to them, fuck it. Please, send it to them. <laughs> they sell at Ulta, so they probably won't sponsor us. Who knows? Who knows? You don't know until you try. But dude, that's, I'm so pissed I lost that shit. I was so pissed that I lost that motherfucker. You know what else? Vegas, da 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 da. God, what happened? Oh, dude. Took mushrooms the first night. Yeah. Ate, you know, polka dot. Polka dot mushroom chocolate? Uh, no. I ate four pieces of that motherfucker. It said four pieces is like chill. Brother, that shit was not chill. <laughs> I ate four pieces. It says it's supposed to be two grams. That shit felt like three and a half. There was an ICP concert the first night of Skanks Fest. Bro was too high to leave the hotel room. I was like... But at one point, I'm like, I could go up right now. I always do psychedelics. I'm like, dude, I can go on stage right now. Totally could go. Totally rip it, dude. I could rip a 45-minute set right now. Easy. You didn't watch ICP? Nah. Uh, I couldn't make it. I've seen them. I've already seen them. I've already seen them pee. God, it was brutal. But the second night. Second night, Skink Fest. The first night officially of the of the uh, festival. Looking at what you put on. Hung out with uh, Sam Hyde, Nick Rochefort. That was a good hang. Okay. Loved it. They're super chill. Nick Rochefort rules, bro. He's so funny. What was the funniest thing that happened to you at Skank Fest? Funniest thing that happened to me on Skank Fest? The hardest oh. you laughed. Hardest I laughed? Hardest you laughed. Not not like, I'm not talking about somebody's set or anything, but just like shenanigans. Oh. Hardest, hardest you laugh. Hardest thing that made me laugh? Shenanigans. All right. So second night, second night, someone gives me, a nice lady gave me a tab of acid. And me, LaMare, Andy... Nate, Pat. me, yeah, no, Pat wasn't there. Me, Andy, Lame me, and Panties in the Mouth. We go to, we go to Midget Wrestling. It's not even part of the festival. Downstairs at the Notoriety, second floor. There's this place called the Nerd, and it's like me and Lemare. Picture a place that was designed for me and Lemare. All right, and uh, you walk in, and there's all these. It's a bar, and there's like. Power Rangers and Pokemon and Star Wars. It's just all this nerdy so, memorabilia. They've got a giant uh, bull riding r set ring set up, like a mechanical bull. Is this it? But it's a giant penis. Yeah, the nerd. Yep, there it is. It's sick. It's awesome. They have Super Smash Brothers on Switch. They've got uh, a Step Mania machine, which Step Mania is off-brand DDR, so you can literally put any like programmed game, any program song you can put. So they got a Step Mania machine that's like higher tier than DDR. Like they know their shit. I'm sending you airdrops right now. I took this video the first <laughs> night we were there. Yeah, there's the mechanical, there's the mechanical penis ride. But look at the video I took. This is so funny, bro. Watch this video. I play this. Yep. So yeah, they've they've recently updated the decor since that, and it's the funniest shit ever. Look at this video I took. All right, full screen it. It's All right. so so. Graphic. It's so unsightly. It's so if you guys graphic. want to know what my dick looks like with the foreskin pulled back, it's that. <laughs> like proportions wise, that's exactly the curve. That's exactly what my dick looks like. If you ever wonder what frogs' penis looks like, it looks like two days after shaving too. Like, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's got the shaft prickly. Oh, dude, I got shaft stubble like a crazy. I don't. Do you guys? Hey, guys. Question for you at home. Do you comments. have? Put down in the comments. Do you have shaft pubes? Is that like exclusive to me? Does your dick also look like a tree in Dr. Seuss? Just <laughs> tears of fur along the shaft. God, I gotta pull that up now. What a uh, Dr. Seuss. Type in a uh, Lorax tree. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Does your dick? <laughs> I guess that's yeah. Does it hairy on the shaft like that? Look at the the shaft of the tree. Out. It's like little fuzzies. That's you. Does your dick look like that? Boy, your dick look like that. <laughs> Put in the comment your dick look like that. All right, go back to video. <laughs> Guess who that is? Jar Jar. Who's that? Pokemon. <laughs> Fucking Jar Jar. Just, dude, yeah, it's a giant dick. The, the vibe is crazy. <laughs> 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 
just an ominous silhouette of Jar Jar in the background. Just that's a Jar Jar Binks statue standing over there in the corner. But the way that the camera, the cinematography of that, of just zooming in on Jar Jar and it's the lighting changes and it's just his silhouette, just ominous in the background. Misa ride the giant wiener. Misa could last thirty seconds on the giant peanuts. Misa, Misa, take a ride on the wiener. I love, love your all right, dude. All right. <laughs> all right, and if uh, for those uh, audiophiles that are picking up on that uh, music in the background, yes, that's Hollywood Undead. This place is unreal. <laughs> okay, and then to the right of that, there's a hallway that leads to um, probably the greatest thing in the world. It's Micromania, Micromania Midget Wrestling. Guys, look them up on Instagram. If you're ever in Vegas, go to the Notoriety on Fremont Street. Go to the Nerd. Get you tickets to the Mighty Micromania Midget Wrestling. And it's incredible. I was on acid watching midgets fight. And the crazy thing is, is that the heel, if you guys are familiar with uh, uh, wrestling terminology, the heel is the bad guy, right? There's always a bad guy in wrestling. And I'm sending you a video. His name was Ricky. Ricky the Ricky the Ricky the something or other. He was like Phantasma or like Ricky the, you know, he's a beautiful man or whatever. He's like a pretty boy, but he's just a fat guy with long hair and a sparkly onesie. And he's the heel. <laughs> and he's fighting this full-grown midget woman. A Latina midget speaks no English. And uh, here's a clip of that now. Listen closely to me. What's all that movement back there? I'm on acid cracking jokes. What's all that movement back there? What's all that movement? All right, keep going, keep going. He pulls his titty out. Watch this. Dynamite. Bro, I fell in love with her. Little dynamite. Yeah, she's, she's, dude, she's bad. I fell in love with her, dude. She has like the perfect ratio of caveman forehead. She has a caveman, cavewoman forehead. The face of one of my ex girlfriends. The torso of an eighth grader. The ass of a Bratz doll. <laughs> and the legs of a six month old baby. AKA the perfect woman. Dream girl. My. Look at the Bro, freeze frame. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I wish I had her IG. What's her at? Guys, find her at Little Dynamite. Dynamita. I'm going to send you more. Bro, I'm on acid the whole time. I keep looking at Andy, and Andy is laughing at me so hard because he knows I'm on acid. And I'm just like, I'm going like this. I'm going, no, no, no. <laughs> Get up. You can beat him. Fuck you, Ricky. I would just, dude, at random, at random, I would just, I would, I would get so mad. I'm on acid and I'm emotionally invested in this wrestling match. I would get so mad. I would just charge up and I'd go, fuck you, Ricky. Hey, Ricky, fuck you. And at one point, dude, I'll never forget this. I'll never forget this. The guy who got us in there for free. It's dead quiet. <laughs> it's dead quiet. And a guy just goes, the guy who gets us in, it's dead quiet. It's like a lull in the show. The guy just goes, agate. <laughs> we fucking lose it, dude. Drops the F slur. At, dude, they're like families in there. <laughs> There's like kids in there. Shit. I wish that was on camera. I wish I had that on camera, dude. We died so fucking hard, bro. We were dying so fucking hard. Let me, uh. Dude, they're like in the crowd making audience members give them titty twisters and shit. This is $25. They're putting on a show. Like, yeah, it sucked. Like, it, like in terms of wrestling, it's my first time seeing wrestling. But from what I've seen, it's my first time seeing wrestling live. But from what I've seen on television and stuff, like, it kind of sucked. But, dude, they were like, fuck this. We're showmen. They paid money. We're putting on a fucking show. And that shit instilled something in me. And I fucked with them heavy. I was like, this is good. This is good because they're putting their energy into it. And they're confident that they know it's kind of janky. 
But they're like, nah, y'all paid for this. You're gonna see midgets. You're gonna see midgets throw the fuck down. <laughs> you're gonna see little people throw the absolute fuck down. No bullshit. Hold on, man. I got another one here. This is the intro. They had a little, of course, they had the, the host. He was a midget too. Everyone's a midget except for Ricky. Ricky's like the only normal sized person in this whole situation. And he's like a gay guy and he's like whipping his hair back and forth. He's like, he's coming out to Beyonce and shit. It's crazy, dude. So he's just, he's a normal sized guy, but he's gay is like the thing. He's just a gay guy beating up midgets. <laughs> Bro, it was unreal. Dude, I haven't done acid in 10 years. I haven't done acid since I was homeless. And somebody's like, mm, it's 200 micrograms. I'll just give you a half. I'm like, yeah, sure, whatever. We'll see what happens. I probably won't even get high. Dude, I was floored by the acid. I was floored here. Yeah, play that video of me. Look at me. I'm sweating, dude. I'm, I'm, you know I sweat. But, dude, acid sweating is, everyone knows who's done acid, LSD. It makes you sweat so crucially. Look at my eyes. Go back to my eyes. Look at my eyes. They're fucking... Look how big the pupils are. Dude, my pupils are like this, dude. I was peeking on the acid. Oh, wait, go back. You look, like you're, you look like you're terrified, but you're also seeing God at the same time. That's exactly how I was feeling. <laughs> I was terrified, but I was so happy. Look at your sweat, dude. Dude, I was sweating my ass <laughs> off. <laughs> Keep playing it. Oh, that's it. Look at my look at my acid LSD pupils. They're huge. Bro, I'm so sweaty. It did not make sense how sweaty I was. It was cool in there. <laughs> Dude, as soon as the show starts, that little dynamite girl, she the little dynamite lady, I'm on acid and I'm just I'm in the crowd like this watching, looking up and she looks down at me and she goes <laughs> And I go, "Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then Lamar is like, "Ooh, you made her mad, bro. You on her list." I'm like, "Oh no." And people are like throwing the midgets into the crowd, and I'm like, "Please, I cannot take that right now, please." And the guy in front of me, dude, they threw a midget into the guy in front of me. And I'm looking over his shoulder like, I'm geeking, dude. I'm peeking and I'm geeking and I'm freaking on this LSD, dude. And then they throw Ricky into him and Ricky's like, ugh, all over him and shit. And then they throw her. They throw the dynamite girl on top of him and he's like got this thick ass midget on him and he's like, bro, get her off of me. He's with his like little, like little Gen Z buddies up front, dude. It was so fucking funny. I think I sent you another one. Let's see if, I don't know if you received it or not. Airdrops being kind of funky. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there it is. Watch this guy. Watch. This is the intro, bro. Oh, no, no, no. That's another one where they throw them into the crowd. Yeah, yeah. I think you can watch that. It's a good one. Look at Ricky, dude. He's like busting. He's like, ah. Hit play. Titty twisters. Woo. Getting pops. It was unreal, man. But yeah, go see Micromania, bro. It was fucking crazy. It was fucking absolutely incredible. What day was that? That was Friday. Yeah, that was the second day we were there. That's crazy. Yeah, Saturday. What happened on Saturday? Me and Ben got spots. We did spots on Saturday. Ben Staub, my buddy from Virginia, he was there. He lives in Philly now. He's friends with Naeem and uh, Drew Montana. Of do rag and the deer tag go check out ao actually that's ben and naeem's podcast naeem's doing great drew is doing great you did mushrooms and molly in the same day yeah 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 my third day uh third day how did that how, second how did that, day how did that come mushrooms came from well, when did i do my <laughs> somebody gave me another fucking polka dot mushroom bar i ate half of that <sighs> mushrooms come down and then it's uh, Josh Adam Myers. This is the goddamn comedy jam. So it's like comedy comedians do cover songs. So like you know they're doing like new metal, like fucking Fred Durst. It's just one of those days, like Big J, and then a uh, fucking Drowning Pool and shit like that. But it's comics, you know. It's sick. They're in a boxing ring, and uh, I think this was the last day of Skankfest. Somebody gave me uh, 
Somebody poured like a silver a silver dollars amount of Molly in my hand. <laughs> And I was like, I've never done Molly before. And they're like, oh, you just lick it. They lick it. And, um, well, I lick it. And then uh, somehow I end up in the boxing ring during the comedy jam standing on the ropes. I'm on the ropes singing Queen. Louis J, Big J, Josh Adam Myers, everyone on the festivals in the front row of this boxing ring. Your boy's on the top of the ropes. I'm just a poor boy from a poor family. <laughs> ba ba boosh, ba ba boosh, and I'm tripping on Molly. Galileo! Rolling. Rolling, rolling on Molly. Galileo! Galileo, Galileo let Gal me go. BLZ Bob's got a type shit for me. It's cool that at Skank Fest, it feels like you can't really like get too fucked up and embarrass yourself. You know what I mean? It's almost endearing, like how much you, how hard you go at Skank Fest. You know? Yeah. Like it's not, you're not. Nobody's gonna be like, oh, Ridley was on the, on the, on the here's, ring. Here's here's me in the here's me in the ring. God, I had the best time. Like I lost five hundred dollars in gambling, but I had one of the most extravagant weekends of my life, and I got to be with my boys. We got a road trip with the boys. It was incredible, dude. Somehow I end up, I just get the courage. I'm like, fuck it. I know everyone in the ring. What the fuck is up, Denny's? <laughs> Rolling on Molly. <laughs> Sweating. Sweating profusely. I drank so much water, bro. Good. That's why you're glowing right now. I drank so much water. I was like, uh, I took Molly. I was telling everyone like this. I was like, I took Molly for the first time. They're like, yeah. Okay, buddy. How do you feel? I feel good. I feel happy. You're going to want to drink some water? Have you had any water? No. <laughs> Go get some water, buddy. Okay. Whoopsh. Whoopsh. <laughs> Whoopsh. Okay. Mm. Spilt some. It's all good. God damn. We're, we're glad to have you back at the stoop. I'm so glad to be back at R3. I know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but I hope this episode makes up for it. You can live through me, live through my travels. Hey, Mr. Frogman, Mr. Frogman, tell us of your story. Tell us your story. Tell us of your travels. I'm on my way to Skankfest. Mr. Frogman, tell us of your stories. Tell us of your travels. <laughs> Mr. Frogman. Oh, yo. Shout out, Rito. Rito. Rito, I love you. I'm just, uh, I just want to give him a second here to shout out Rito. I'm trying to pull up some more clips. I'm trying to pull up some more clips of the trip. Trying to pull up more clips, clips of the trip. But yeah, dude, uh, that Denny's that was featured in the last video, I think on the second to last day, I think earlier that day. Yeah, earlier that day before the molly and the mushrooms. We got, <laughs> I took mushrooms earlier in the day, right? That day that you, you saw me on the in the ring just now. Earlier that day, I took mushrooms, right? And then we get hungry. And then later, we decide to go to uh, that Denny's and, uh, God, I cannot, I cannot tell you enough. Do not go to that. There's crickets in here. There's crickets in here, guys. That's there's so crickets, perfect. There's crickets in that's the so, roof. That's so, that's, It's cricket season here It's in cricket Austin. season in Austin. There's like, it's like a plague's amount of crickets. And it's so funny because that was like a lull in the podcast. <laughs> and it was just like, cricket. it's a real cricket. Look, God. I, I have fake crickets right here. And we have real ones. Real crickets in the stew right yeah. now. It's crazy. I'm gonna just talk over them. But yes, like, dude, in that Lenny, dude, in that Denny's, there was a there was a server in there who I can only describe as a six foot tall Jared Nathan from Kill Tony. And um, he's our server. We wait like 25 minutes to get sat. We wait 25 minutes to get our orders taken. We are now like 50 to an hour in this, and we have not been given food. I'm on mushrooms. That's all I've eaten today. I'm like withering away, and I'm too fucked up. I finally get, like, he finally brings me a water. I'm drinking the water. 
And um, Lemaire has lost his wallet at this point. Uh, spoiler alert, he found it, thankfully. Lemaire lost his wallet. Our buddy Pete orders him a, a two... Oh, I can't serve you alcohol, he says to Lemaire. I can't serve you alcohol without your ID. We'll lose our wicker license. Lemaire's got a gray beard. Lemaire has gray in his beard. <laughs> Lemaire is a 40-year-old black man <laughs> pushing 230, 250 pounds. This is a fully grown man. He's had a few drinks. He's already, he's already <laughs> drunk and on mushrooms. We want Denny's. We need food, you fat fuck. You fat Down syndrome motherfucker. Not not Lemaire, L- Lenny, who works at Denny's. Yeah. We'll get to that. Lenny from Denny's. Lenny from Denny's. We'll get to that. This fucking, this motherfucker is shuffling his giant 12, uh, size 12 Velcro black non-slip shoes around the fucking Denny's. Okay? Uh, he takes all our drink orders. He takes all our food orders. Everything's cool. Our buddy Pete goes, hey, can I just order two screwballs? As like, hey, is it cool if I just order it and use my ID? And Lenny's like, okay, two screwballs coming up. Apple juice, sugar free Red Bull, and waters. He brings, there's six of us, he brings four waters. Comes back, brings another water. Comes back, brings the screwballs. Comes back, brings me my Red Bull. Comes back again, the apple juice, he remembers. He goes, who ordered apple juice? <laughs> and I look up, and I look over at my buddy. She ordered a, uh, apple juice, and I just start fucking falling apart. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> the mushroom, dude, the levy, the, the social levies break. I cannot maintain that I am on psychedelics in public any longer. Just a giant Down syndrome man. Who ordered that apple juice? And I just <laughs> fall to pieces, dude. I'm, he picks up that I'm laughing at him. He notices that Lemaire has been handed a screwball without ID. He goes, I told you you can't have the drink without ID. I told you we're going to lose our wicker license. I'm canceling your order. You guys need to get out. I'm on mushrooms. My anger multiplies. I go, hey, he's obviously not a fucking child. It's not like we have buckwheat sitting at the table. I said, it's not like we have buck. This is a grown ass man with gray in his beard. Lemaire's also chiming in. I have gray in my beard. He goes, I'm going to call the cops. We go, call them. The cops are going to show up. They're going to go, yeah, it's a fucking old black dude drinking alcohol. What, what's the problem? We all get up out of the table angry as shit. And I go, Lenny, it's not about him not having an ID. It's about you being fucking lazy and you can't handle a party this big. It took us 50 minutes to get to this part. You were looking for a reason to kick us out. You're lazy, Lenny. You're fucking lazy. (laughs) Takes one to know one. I know you're fucking type, you piece of shit. You're lazy. Lazy Lenny works at Denny's. (laughs) Lazy Lenny. I start Trump heckling him. Lazy Lenny works at Denny's. He's, he's fucking fat, he's lazy, he's got Down syndrome. He'll People. never earn a penny. He'll never earn a penny, <laughs> Lazy Lenny. I'm tipping you 0% on $40 tab, Lenny. You're fucking lazy. Lazy Lenny's works at a Denny's. Never makes a single penny, this guy, Lazy Lenny. This guy, this fat fucking retard, Lazy Lenny. Go on Google. Open Google right now. Type in Denny's Fremont, Las Vegas. Go to Google Maps. Click Google Reviews right there. 4,271. Go to lowest reviews. Scroll up. Lowest. Yep. Scroll down. Don't go too fast. Look for Michael Ridley. Somewhere in there, I put up fire review. That's crazy. I'm not in there. I literally just put it up. Keep going, keep going. Let's see if we can find it. Six of us waited to be seated for 10 minutes. It was nearly about 11 p.m. The place was nearly empty. We asked the host if we could sit at least. <laughs> they can't handle a table, they can't handle parties more than five. Go up. I think you passed me. 
Why don't I look at just recent newest? Recent newest, yeah. Ten photos five days ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they must have deleted it, huh? They deleted my review. What did you say? You should have screenshotted it. I said, uh, damn, I thought it was a week ago. Lowest. Go to newest again. Go down, go down, go down. A week ago. I feel like it was a week ago. I was so mad at this guy, dude. I was so fucking mad at this guy. I put Lenny's a bitch. <laughs> I literally you should, just. You should have it in your Google review. I literally put. I literally put. Lenny's a bitch. <laughs> um, they must have deleted it. <laughs> burp, burp, Mike. So Denny's Fremont Street. You should have it in your like history under your Google account. Like, yeah. In maps. Like, Bro. You should be able to share a link to it or something. Like that. Oh, you screenshotted it. Yeah. <laughs> Lazy Lenny works at Denny's. Lazy Lenny works at Denny's. Won't ever earn a single penny. I'm on mushrooms, dude. Cooking. <laughs> Freestyling and just, roasting. Were the boys just dying? Dude, Andy, again. Yeah. <laughs> Andy's like, yo, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Look at, open it, dude. Open I sent you the screenshot. That's crazy. Uh, you can't just pull up my shit. I literally put it up two days ago. I just pulled this link up. Oh, really? Yeah. You sent me like a link or something. No, no, no. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll wrap That's on this. crazy. We'll yeah, we'll wrap. We'll wrap this. on this. We're gonna do. I'm gonna do a freestyle. We're gonna do a bunch of freaky shit on the fucking pod, bro. There you go. I literally just put in there. Boom. It's crazy. That's two days ago. Lenny is a lazy bitch. Food one. Service one. Atmosphere one. <laughs> You know I was mad when I started raiding the atmosphere. <laughs> the Denny's. The vibe. You know what it is? The vibe of that Denny's is like they're not corporate's not paying enough, and the manager's giving himself all the hours to just stand around and cake and tell people what to do. We can lose our liquor license, bro. You don't need a liquor license if you ain't fucking serving nobody. What's the point of a liquor license? <laughs> I was just in there a day ago. You said you made him a song. Yeah, Lazy Lenny works at a Denny's. That was the song. That was, it was the, the song jingle. I was, was a jingle roast. Jingle, jingle, Trump jingle roast. Trump. I did. I like. I just <laughs> turned into Trump. Like, I didn't even consciously think of doing. It. Lazy Lenny, and my back's turned to him. I'm walking out the door. I'm, Lazy Lenny works at Denny's. You added the penny part. That yeah. was pretty fire. That would have been the cherry on top yeah. if I knew to add the penny. That makes me feel like Trump should start rhyming more. That's pretty funny. I saw him. Leaving, shifts over. I wanted to just throw a fucking. I had a water bottle in my hand. I was like, just fucking throw it at this dumbass motherfucker. At Lenny, to specify. At Lenny, not Trump. no, not Trump. <laughs> Lenny. I just wanted to fucking. I just wanted to fuck his ass up, <laughs> beam his ass with a fucking water bottle. You stupid bitch. They say there's two hundred thousand souls on Earth. Lenny does not have one of them. Lenny is. I'm a dumb retard. I work at Denny's. I work at Denny's. You didn't, sh you didn't show me your ID. Get out. It's not because I'm mentally incompetent and I can't solve parties bigger than four, parties bigger than this many. No. It's because, you know, we're going to lose our wicker license. Follow the rules. No, you're just a lazy ass motherfucker looking for an excuse to kick us out because you don't want to do the work. But yes, Gangfest ruled. I had such a good time in Vegas. <laughs> I had White Castle three times. I had diarrhea four times. Viva Las Vegas! Sin City, baby. Guys, it's been an hour. Thank you for tuning in to episode 44 of Radio Ridley Radio. We're back. We're back. And we're better than ever. Got a new wind under my wings. Whoops. Frog man. I'm the frog man. I went to Las Vegas and lost it all. I'm a little frog man with my froggy balls. 
But it's not about the money that we lost, but the friends that we made. This is the Frogman way. Hey, 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 Frogman. Traveling around the world, it's the Frogman. Making all the boys and girls laugh, it's Frogman. <laughs> Frogman. Traveling the world, making friends, oh, and it's a frog, man. We'll see you next week, or you can see us in a few minutes on Patreon. I'm the frog man, and this is me saying so long. Please like and subscribe. Like and subscribe so that a frog can survive. It's only one chance in life. I'm begging you, baby, like and subscribe <laughs> and comment too and tell oh. your friends cause the frog man told you to. Bye-bye. <laughs>